Well, Triton Trojans fans, another sports season is upon us. I'm Andy O'Hare for the Triton Trojan Sports Network, and we'll be going behind the X's and O's with players and coaches with interviews each week. And now on to this week's interview. All right, welcome Triton Trojans fans. I'm Andy O'Hara alongside senior quarterback Connor Pitney. Connor, we're going. Into, how, how have you felt going into senior season? Now that we're kind of about the halfway point. How are you kind of feeling? I'm um, feeling pretty confident. I mean, I'm just going to go out and play my best game possible and try not to get in my head and keep everybody else encouraged as well. And that's one thing as a leader you and I were talking about is things that you're trying to lead with everybody and not trying to stay in your own head. What kind of, how do you kind of do that during the game on the sideline when like you don't play defense, but how are you kind of trying to keep the guys encouraged? Uh, I just try and encourage everybody on the sideline to just walk up and down the sideline, tell everybody to keep cheering on everybody that's on the field. Even if they're not playing, just make, stay engaged in the game. So now being a senior, walk me through your football journey, how you've kind of gotten where you're at. I keep saying I wish you were a sophomore because I wish I had three more years of you, but w walk me through your football journey. I started playing in third grade uh, with James and Delano and Billy. I started with them. Then they kind of, they went out a year ahead of me, but I ended with them too, so that was cool. And I'll be, I played quarterback all the way through. And like I said, quarterback, you play really good. It's like for me watching you play back here, it's like watching Dan Marino play. A guy who's going to stand in the pocket, make the throws. He's not a fr pressure. It's nothing. You just stand there and you make that throw. You wait for that little window, and you were just time it perfectly. That throw to um, Hunter that got called back against, mm -hmm. um, I believe that was, who did we play that week? It was Casting. It was Casting. Yeah, you had that open. It just was on a frozen rope, and it just split the just split the defenders. That was that was awesome to watch. And like I said, that's. Like I said, watching you play quarterback, you can definitely tell as far as IQ and how you read the field. That's why I tell everybody. I told a guy at work is normally have high school quarterbacks there. They know where they're, they're, they're their first throw is going to go, and they're going to stay on it. Mm -hmm. You sit there. You drop back. You watch your eye scan. You watch your eye scan the field. You don't see many high school quarterbacks doing that. Yeah. I, I'm starting to slip a little bit, but I'm trying to get back into the groove of reading the field. I understand. Well, you guys are kind of a little bit of adversity. So talk to me about that adversity. Being a senior, and this has kind of been your last year, adversity not during the game, but – during the week of practice, what kind of things are you doing for the guys to get them prepared to battle through that adversity? I just try and stay confident throughout practice as well and just keep everyone else engaged in practice just like the games and treat it like a game situation instead of getting distracted. So that way everyone can stay focused as a team. Very good. Now that you're a senior, um, what does it mean to you to be a student athlete? And how would you encourage others that are afraid of the grades or afraid to be a, be a student athlete because of having to do all, come to keep your grades up? Oh, it's easy. We do study tables on Thursdays, and you just make sure that if you have bad grades that you're getting extra help. And that's why we have the study tables so you can work on your homework so you're not dependent on doing it at home. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, anything like with that. Like they're holding you accountable, everybody on the team. It's not just you're on your own, figure it out. It, you guys show up. You guys work together, that brotherhood, that accountability. That, for as a student athlete, you don't see that at a lot of places. Yeah. Um, but look, for you guys, you guys take a real pride in those and then academics, and then you're an athlete second. That's awesome yeah. for me to be able to watch you do. Future plans after you graduate? Uh, I want to go to college. If I get an offer to play football somewhere, I want to go play. But if not, I'm going to go study fire sciences and fire administration. Now, if you go play quarterback somewhere, I want to schedule because I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm going to show up and go watch you play now. Yeah, um, I'll get you one. Talk about the interest in the career field. Uh, my dad's been a firefighter since he was, I think he was 20 years old, and I've always been, found interest in it, like, in, especially in the investigation part of it and what causes and starts fires. So that's got kind of when just follow his career path. Hey, hey, we need those guys. I mean, the fire is never going to go away, and having someone yeah. to investigate and figure out why something happened, that's never going to go away. Outside of football, what do you do, enjoy doing in your spare time? I like going hunting and fishing and just being outside. My kind of guy right there, hunting and fishing. Now my son needs a list of this. Now see, doesn't matter if you play quarterback, you can still go fishing and hunting. He, he seems to think that he didn't have to go do that stuff all the oh, time. Yeah. He's more important. Other things are more important. It. Getting outside is huge, though. Favorite pregame activity? Kind of get yourself pumped up before a game. Uh, Quentin brings his amp, and we just blare music and just sing together the whole time. I bet that's. I bet that's. I bet that's pretty. A lot of fun to yeah, watch in the locker room. Yeah, Anybody want to give a shout out to before we wrap this thing up? Uh, I want to give a shout out to Keegan sitting over here. He's really stepped up, even though he's a junior. He's stepping up and being a huge leader and playing his heart out on defense. And I love how he quit playing offense just so he could focus on defense and get better and be the best that he can be. And, and he's and he's got the frame to play that way. We talk about him playing down here basketball. He can throw his body weight around. He's going to be a good defender once he gets it figured oh, yeah, out. For sure. um, like I said, Connor, good luck the rest of the way. We'll be watching you. Like I said, I love watching you play. And I mean, if you play quarterback somewhere, I want the schedule. Oh. You follow me on Twitter. I want it now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, All right. Have. Thank you, Connor. Thank you.